Hi, fashion dolls. It is Winston Wednesday, January 18th, and welcome to an all new episode of Style by Stevie. Our guest joining me today is a model and actor, and he is no stranger to the fashion world or stream. I'm super excited to have you guys here, fashion dolls. Make sure you guys share the live and let everyone know the Style by Stevie is in full effect. I hope you guys love today's look. It is very colorful, very bright, very beautiful to match my personality. So make sure you guys go and check out the LOTW, the look of the day, LOTD, excuse me, look of the day. So make sure you guys go and check that out. So without further ado, let me go ahead and send this live to our very special guest, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Kendrick. All right. I hope all of you are doing well. I'm feeling great and I hope you guys are as well too. So we have some great, amazing girl talks this week, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been so much that has been going on, like it's been a busy week, and we have some more amazing guests coming up to wrap up this month of January, so I'm super excited for that. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our incredibly talented, handsome guest, Nathan Kenrick. Hello, hey. hello. Welcome to the dollhouse, Nate. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Today was a good day. It is such a pleasure to have you here. So before we kick off this interview, how has 2023 been for you thus far? Uh, a little up and down. <laughs> a little up and down. Mostly up, though. So, yeah. Shout out to my brother, k 285 Make sure you guys go ahead on over and subscribe to his channel right now. k 2 Spot, amazing platform and talk show. And I agree with you, 2023 has definitely been up and down because of so many deaths. So many things, unfortunately, happen. It's crazy. Now, inflation, I talked a little bit about that yesterday. If you guys missed yesterday's show, it is up. Make sure you guys go and check it out with Savanya McIntosh. All right? So let's get into to this interview so nathan tell us a little bit about yourself because you i was scrolling down instagram and your photos are everywhere it's like you're dominating the fashion world your photography is everywhere right now so tell us a little bit about yourself your background and where you grew up oh uh, well that's a loaded question right there i grew up in hawaii which is nice yeah but I was born in Atlanta, so there's a lot of a lot going on. But I'm I'm in Florida now. I recently moved here, 2018 from Arizona. So been here since. So just yeah. all around, you you mm -hmm. like travel all around. How did you find like how do you find the balance and everything? And I'm pretty sure your parents were supportive of you getting into this business because being a model. An entertainer all around is definitely a balance with having to make sure that you balance it out with family and everything. I know that's a lot on you. So how do you find that balance? Well, I got family here in Florida, so that's easy. <laughs> so I go to work okay. and then I come back. And I, yeah. So it's very, very close. We close. Amazing, amazing, remarkable. So where did you get this passion to get into modeling? Because not only are you a model, but you're an actor as well, too. Well, I got a friend. She threw me in, actually, last year. She threw me into a runway show, and I saw it from, like, that point of view, like, being on set and, like, the fittings and just everything. So I just fell in love with it from there. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is where I should be. And then it just snowballed from then on out. Yep. And then you just blew up and took off and took a liking to your own. And we've seen your photography all over the gram. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. So who are some of your favorite fashion designers, if you don't mind me asking? The designers? I really like Casablanca. Like, that's that's my favorite brand. I want to work with them so bad. Like that. Them. And, and, 
mainly them, honestly, that I really like. Like that's it. You name it. And then there's Louis and Gucci. Yeah. But Casablanca is it's top tier for me. That's it. Yes, that is that is a classic fashion brand. Shout out to Natalie Perry, who's an actress. She made a big announcement, so make sure you guys go and follow her. Hopefully, she's coming on the platform as well, too, so we'll set that up. Make sure you guys go and check it out. We see a few familiar faces, so you never know who could pop up in these comments. You guys stay tuned. All right, so what do you do in the meantime? Now set out with modeling and acting. Which one do you like the most, or is a tough choice for you? Modeling. If I get a modeling job, and the acting job at the same time, I'm choosing the modeling one for sure. It's just I'm, and do you I like to be able to have that input into your photo shoots? Because I'm pretty sure you do. We've seen some of your photography, and it's just amazing. It's dynamic. Yeah, I, I like, like the main thing about photo shoots is just the creativity. Like with the acting job, it's more like set. Like, yeah, this is what you need to do, and like that's it. But with the shoots, is is way better. Yeah. And it, it's it's live in real time. It's just like, okay, and still, you're capturing the essence in that moment when you're doing mm -hmm. photography, whereas if you're acting, you have to be able to get right into that character when like, the director says, okay, go. Immediately, yeah. Go. Different. Yes. So are there any models that you would like to collab with on some of your shoots? Well, a few of my friends, like, I got a lot of model friends, so with them, I want to do some, like, creative shoots, especially out of Miami in New York. That would be dope. Now, Fashion Week is going on as we speak, because mm -hmm. a lot of designers I've seen are going live, Chris Seriano and so many others. Are there any shows that you would like to walk for in the future? In the future? I want to do a Dior show. Oh, that would be dope. Favorite thing. Dior. Get out of my head, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite fashion houses. I love Dior, and I could see that. Dior. Gucci, too. Gucci would be like, I feel like I'll fit in good with Gucci. Who else? Louis, too. The more. More simple ones, because them other ones like <laughs> Balenciaga, they be walking crazy. I, I can't walk like that. <laughs> I need something like clean cut, like simple. Yes, like the, the last thing for their show, Balenciaga, it's funny you missed that again. Yeah, it caused a lot of controversy, but it was underground, and I'm just like, the models were walking out with these gorgeous, scantily clad gowns and stuff, and then they had mm -hmm. the furs, and the oversized clutch bags. And it's just like, okay, I, these gowns are at least $1,000. So I'm not about to walk in a gown that's that much with mud splashing, splish splashing everywhere. Now, however, there was the 1999, I think it was the Alexander McQueen show. And the models came out with just blank white dresses. And then there was like this little spray. You guys know what I'm talking about. There was a, this little spray paint machine and the model was just standing oh, on this yeah. like little rotator thing and just spraying. The, it was so creative. So you never know what could happen in the future with fashion. Like designers take it and they push the envelope to the next level. And it's funny you mentioned Dior because 2022's collection, they had the models walk out in like this Egyptian type thing and Naomi Campbell was standing in front of the pyramids. It was pyramids. It was it was beautiful. So if you guys have not seen the Dior show from last season, please go and check that out. Okay. Now skincare wise, because we have to know your skin is absolutely flawless. And you post real so what is your secret? Water. I drink a lot of water. A lot of water. And I have this, this, uh, what's it called? This mask. And it's made out of rice water. So rice 
This water is really good for your skin. And aloe. Aloe vera, I get the, the leaf and then I like mix it up so I can like use it on my face and I just leave it on overnight. And yeah, it's also great for your hair as well, too. It's funny you mentioned rice water because my mom, she, she would love you right now because whenever I open my hair, I don't need because I'm relaxed. Whenever I open my hair, she said, maybe you should do a rice water treatment. So rice water is excellent for your hair as well, too. Just a DIY for mm -hmm. those of you at home. You boil the water on the stove. It can be old rice. It can be anything. And my mom, she lets her sit in the fridge. Now, I would not recommend you do it after it just came out of the fridge. I made that mistake. And let's just say the whole house heard me scream. <laughs> yeah, it was cold. So don't ever, make sure you warm it at least a little bit before you apply it to your hair. So those are great secrets to keep in skin. Lots of water, especially during these times. The weather, I just had a conversation with my girlfriend not too long ago. And I was saying how the weather has been tricky. Now, the environment can also put stress on your skin for those of you who are watching as well, too. So it's important that you use lots of hydration, lots of exfoliants as well, too, because we're just coming now out of the winter months, I wouldn't say. We're kind of still in the winter months. It's kind of cold. It was a little cold this morning, but the months are starting to warm up. So make sure that you are keeping your skin hydrated and drinking lots of water. As you can tell all over, I am over here glistening with body butter and everything all over. So make sure that you take care of your skin. It's imperative. All right. So the next question for you is, Nate, what do you do when you're not on set? Because I'm pretty sure being a model, again, having to find that balance with spare time with family, families right near you. Spending time with the fam while you're not on set. So what do you do when you're not on set? I usually work out. Work out. I play ball, too. Basketball. So, I mean, get my cardio in. Mm -hmm. Having fun with that. I usually do my own photo shoots, too. Put my little selfie stick up. Tripod. And then, you know, do my thing from there. Go to the beach. That's a big I be bowling too. I be bowling. What else? Yeah. Out there and stay energetic. Yeah. Get out, yo. Don't stay in the house. And it's funny you said that in the beginning of the interview because you said 2023 has been kind of stressful. 2021, 2022, we've been in the house pent up. So make sure you guys are getting out and staying active and finding something to do because being in the house pent up, looking at the walls is not it. Just make sure you're moving around. And getting out, making sure that the blood is going, of course. So that's definitely a must. All right, fashion dolls. So we're going to get into our games with Nate here. And the first one is called the Rapid Five. And Nathan has to tell me five things that he can't live without, all right? And then the next one is going to be called Turn the Tables. And this is where my guests get to ask Miss Stevie some questions. So Nate is going to ask me as many questions as he wants to for my new viewers that are coming in. And this is my way of cutting the velvet rope and letting people inside to get to know things that I like, my dislikes, passions, goals, dreams, whatever it is for the year of 2023 that he wants to know. All right. So we're going to start off with the rapid five. Now for the rapid five, it can be your favorite drink, your favorite sports team, your favorite skincare. It can be anything that you love that you can't live without. Now, Nate, what are some of the top five things that you can't live without? Basketball. My phone. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, food. The All sofa. right. I stay eating. My shoes. And my clothes. Yeah, those are important. Shoes right. and clothes, like top two. Yes, absolutely. And quintessential. I, I'm a foodie too. I love to eat. So I try to balance it out, make sure I'm eating healthy, and then eat, go ahead and binge, eat what I love. So please do not put a, a box of Reese's Pieces in front of me because I'll be yeah, Reese's Pieces ice cream. <laughs> That's my guilty pleasure. And young ex Majo says, what about your family? Damn, you're right. My family, too. Yeah. <laughs> She's right. Right. Family and friends. Some friends. So, Always. Yeah. 
right. So my top right, six. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, fashion dolls. It is time to turn those tables. For my newest viewers that are just joining in, you get to know a little bit about me through the question that Nate is going to ask me. So I have no idea what Nate is going to ask me. So I'm going to let Nate take it away here, and he's going to ask as many questions as he wants. All right? So go ahead. Favorite food. My favorite food. Now, everyone's like, how does she keep in tape? I'm, I'm not the tallest. Well, kind of semi-tall. I'm not to say five, seven. So I try to watch what I eat. But my guilty pleasure is pepperoni pizza, for those of you who know. Me. So I love stuffed crust, cheese, pizza, and I love pepperoni pizza. So that is one of my guilty pleasures. Pizza from where, though? I love Pizza Hut. I love Pizza Hut pizza. Okay. And if we if we were in New York, now my father put me on to the big, huge slices of pizzas. Like those pizza slices are huge in New York. So yeah, a little bit better than Pizza Hut, but I love Pizza Hut if I'm down here in my hometown, South Carolina. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where'd you go to school at? Right down here. I'm a South Carolina girl, born and raised down here in the Carolinas. So it's still in me, and I know a lot of people, there's this misconception about people in the South that you're supposed to sound like this, but no, we, we don't. We don't. So born and raised in South Carolina, and I went to school here. Okay. Okay. All right. Here, um, other than Dior, what is your favorite fashion brand? Everyone knows this. I'm, I'm kind of glad you asked that question. Rest his soul. He was is one of the greatest fashion designers that ever lived, Terry Mugler. And, and I love things that are out of the ordinary. So I would have to say Manfred Terry Mugler. He had a vision, just so many things that from the insects to the, the galactic space designs that he comes up with, he was just ahead of his time. And his designs are just timeless. So I would have to say Terry Mugler is one of my favorite fashion designers. Okay, okay. All right. All right. This one's off the wall a little bit. My favorite movie. Ooh. It's, it, I have three choices, so I'm just going to go with one. I would have to say The Nutty Professor. I love Eddie Murphy. I love to laugh. I love to have a good time. I know the lines from the dinner table scene to everything. So... That movie is a classic, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all at home watching can relate to it. It's like you watch Black Friday, for example. Everybody knows the lines to Friday. Oh, yeah. If not Friday, then The Temptation. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. So <laughs> everybody knows it so well. But yes, <laughs> The Nutty Professor is my favorite movie. I love me some Eddie Murphy. Okay, okay. All right, what are your top three goals for this year? My top three goals, well, I've completed one, and it was to have an amazing kickoff for the new season premiere. We started season 17 on the 2nd of this year, and it was amazing. It was amazing. So one goal has been scratched off. Another one of my goals that I want to do is get an even bigger platform. Like people are saying, get a studio, expand, and that's what I would love to do. So that's one of my goals for this year. Um, another one of my goals that I would love to do is also get back, back into more fitness as well, too, because I've kind of slacked off exercising. I exercise a lot when this thing hit, before it even hit in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2020 was when it hit, and I found myself exercising a lot. So I just kind of cut back. But to stay healthy, to be able to move around for my family and my friends and to keep this platform and particularly going, you just got to have great health. And I don't know how I do it because I've done this platform without no sick days, and that's through the grace of God mm -hmm. itself. So those are my top three goals. To have that studio, it was a successful kickoff for the season 17. And number three, to stay healthy. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, that's all my questions. <laughs> all right, thank you, dolls. Do we have any questions for myself or Nate? And I hope you guys t are taking something from this conversation as well, too, which is to be healthy, find a healthy living. Um, we can't keep continuing to do the things that we used to do back in 2022. So if you had a goal or something that you have planned for the new year, 
Like I create vision boards. That's one thing for my new viewers that don't know about me is that I love to create vision boards. And on my vision board, I said I wanted a healthier lifestyle, a healthier circle. I wanted to come into the new year bolder and basically daring myself to do things that I've never really done. So I'm thankful for that as well, too. And it's just like I go and I check off my vision board every day to see if I completed a goal. So find something that works for you. And I know um, Nate said he likes to go bowling. He likes to play on the court. Me, for my ladies out there that are watching, and, and I have to break myself in this habit, bad girl. <laughs> Shopping is my guilty pleasure. Ooh. So when I'm Nate shaking his head, <laughs> listen, but but I'm a woman, so I mean, what what woman doesn't love to shop? Like if I see a new dress or a new outfit or a new bag or something, or me, I, don't take me to Ulta. Mm. Do not take me in the Ulta. I remember when my cousin took me holiday shopping. We ain't gonna talk about how much I spent in Ulta. We 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 not. <laughs> but listen, I, I love makeup. I love hair. I love fashion. So it's like whenever a new palette comes out. I have to get it. I have to get an eyeshadow palette or if it's a bottle of perfume or something. So I'm such a beauty girl. I love these things because it makes me feel good when I smell good, when I look good. All of these things that make people look beautiful, I, I love it. So yeah, we, we, we're not going to talk about how much I spent on perfumes and stuff. That pants you. So leave that alone. <laughs> but yes, I, when I'm not taping Style by Stevie, I'm spending time with family or shopping. More importantly, just in my downtime reading, I love to read. I'm a bookworm too, so I'm always in a book. And even my brothers then will make fun of that, like, oh, you're too smart for your own good. You're always in a book. So, you know, I love to read. I love to stay informed on what's going on. If didn't, if I, because I can't watch the news. Yeah, I stay in tune with what's going on, but watching the news can be draining sometimes. And it's just like, I need an out, I need a, I need an escape. I need to get away. So, yeah. Okay. All right, fashion dolls. If we don't have any questions in the comments, I can't eat, Nate. So my last two questions for you, Nate, and I'm the well, last three, and I'm gonna let you go. Is what is something that you are looking forward to in this year? Because we're about to be in February. I can't, and I've told my girlfriend Felicia this. Shout outs to her. I can't believe that we made it to 2023. I didn't think I was going to be alive to make it here. I didn't think I was going to make it all. With everything that was going on, for all of us, we didn't think we was going to make it because of times of uncertainty. So for you, what is something else that you're looking forward to in the year of 2023? Traveling. I say traveling. I definitely. Going to Europe and just places I've never been. I'm looking forward to that. And working. And I'm overseas. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to add on to that as well, too. I'm manifesting because I always manifest things, and it's like they come into fruition when I do it. Like, I had one actor come on my platform. Shout out to Donald Eastman. He came on here, and he said, Miss Stevie, you're going to see me in something on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Y'all know where I'm going with this. Um, two months later, fast forward, I'm looking on on the trailer on Netflix and he's in the Wu-Tang film, the Wu-Tang oh, film that's out right now, even the first one. So shout out to Donnell E. Smith um, to be a part of something iconic as a legendary rap group like Wu-Tang. It's crazy. He manifested it here on this platform. So for you, Nate, I'm manifesting that you said you want to go overseas and travel. I could see you walking overseas in one of the biggest fashion shows and you said hey. maybe gucci or louis vuitton or dior i could i definitely am manifesting that for you in the future and it could happen and shout out to tony jones he said miss stevie i because i busted him a little bit i kind of got on him tony if you're watching you know we had conversations behind the scenes and he was just kind of doubting himself and i said stop doubting yourself because he's an actor and i said you know what Roles start to come for him all because of the power of manifestation. And it's not like you're looking into a magic eight ball. It's just like, mm, when you're a child, you know those little dandelions y'all used to pick up and blow all the things off and they would go everywhere. That's what that's like. That's what the power of manifestation is. If you put it out there in the universe, it's going to happen. And I manifested it 
at a very young age that I was going to have a talk show and a platform. And to see years later that it's still successful, because I started in 2017, right after high school. I started very, very young. And I had no idea what I was doing, you know, coming into this arena, you know, having a platform, being a voice, you know, internationally interviewing people all over the world, big, small, fresh new faces, up and coming and everything. It, it's a job. It's a big responsibility. And I can say that I've handled it with such grace and dignity, and I'm thankful for it. So besides that, I'm not going to get into all of that. I ain't going to get emotional. <laughs> but the next question for you, Nate, is what is something on your bucket list that you're looking to check off? Because you asked me about goals when we did the turn the tables. So what is something that you're looking to check off of your bucket list? Being on the storefront. Hmm. Right three. in I'll the wedding. Three. Yeah. All right, come on. Manifestation. It's it's good. It's powerful, and I see that. I said I see you walking overseas in one of the shows for Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Dior, and storefront is next. Mm -hmm. So you already got it. It's it's out there, and I don't sell people a dream. We don't sell people dreams. We want them dreams to come into fruition full circle. So if you're watching at home, if this is something that you want to do, modeling, and that was going to be my last question for you. Now I'm going to let you go because I can't keep you. Uh, what is some advice that you would give? Because you, you know you have young boys that are looking up to you, that are looking through magazines and storefront windows and possibly runways pretty soon and saying, okay, if he can do modeling, I can do modeling. If he can do acting, I can do acting. What advice would you give to the young men that are looking up to you? Just do it. <laughs> yes. Just do it. Whether you know like the next step or not, just like just put yourself out there. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. So just, just do it. That's it. And when it happens, it, it happens so fast. It happens so fast. I've interviewed supermodel Kari Young, shout outs to her. Um, and she told me the story about Kate Moss and how she got discovered and Christy Turlington. These are all big supermodels along with Naomi Campbell and so many others. And she told me stories how some of them got discovered. You never know if modeling is something that you want to do. There's classes that you can take, but be careful. There's a lot, um, someone just recently spoke about that on my platform saying, be careful because there's so many scams and stuff going around with people trying to get you into agencies and they're not legit agencies. So make sure that you are doing your research. There's programs out here. And I'm pretty sure Cara or Nate or my um, my bro Nate in the comments as well. So we got Nate and Nate, two Nate, <laughs> can help you and mentor you if you want to get into this business. Talk to photographers. I just seen Michael C. Smith who works with a lot of models Love you, mother. I love you, Michael. I love you, my dear. I love you. I love you. And I am definitely trying to come to New York as well, too, because when I had Michael on my platform, we talked about some of the most iconic. And today is the one-year anniversary passing of one of the greatest in the fashion world, and that is Andre Leon Talley, who's worked with Vogue magazine and so many others. Like, he left a legacy and impact on the fashion world. So I wanted to take the moment to just remember his life and legacy as well, too. So when it comes to getting into the fashion industry, do believe that it is a dog-eat-dog -dog industry. And if you are ready to get into this business, believe you have to have the thick skin and you have to be ready for it. Like Nate says, you have to go for it if this is something that you're passionate about going for. It. And to anybody that's looking to get into fashion design, there are designers out here that can help you as well, too. So shout out to... Jerry Reed Designs in New York, Harlem, NYC as well. Make sure you guys please go and check him out as well too. Fabulous Designs. And I think he des he designed something for Lynn Whitfield, who's on the show Greenly. And you guys know her as Brandy Webb. She starred alongside Martin Lawrence. So yeah, definitely. You never know where the door of opportunity can lead you. So browse and not playing games and that is for you Nate your comment oh my god they, yes all around he shared some of his skincare secrets in the beginning 
of the interview as well, too. So, Nate, before we close out this interview, are there any words of encouragement that you would like to leave people with in 2023? Because when I asked you in the beginning, you said it's been up and down, and it definitely has. And I know a little bit of advice before I let before I pass it on to Nate. I know the inflation is bothering a lot of people right now. Like gas prices are going up, the cost of living is going up, things are going up in this world. And I know we're stressing a lot of people because people have bills to pay, and it's just like you don't know if you're certain if you're going to make it. And people are just like struggling. They don't know what they're going to do. If it is going to get better, we're all in the same position. It is going to get better. And I'm not selling you a dream or anything, but I have faith and I'm optimistic. And I believe that if you see the glass as half full, it's going to, it's going to be all right. Because my mom even told me, I said, mom, are you okay? You need anything? So I'm always checking on mom and dad and everything. And it's just like, People are just uncertain, especially with everything going up. So reassure yourself that it's going to be okay. So Nate, your thoughts um, for everyone to have, have a positive and productive year. Just uh, yeah, just be optimistic, be positive. No matter yes. how bad your situation is, just keep looking up and pushing. Yeah, just keep your head up. And you have such a positive, I want to say one more thing to you, Nate. You have such a positive input because whenever I've been following you on Instagram, you have such an energy about you that brings people happiness. And that's why I invited you on my platform. I said, oh, our energies, it's something about us Scorpios. We click with any Zodiac sign out here and we go off of vibes and energy. And I could feel your energy whenever you made a post. Like I said, he's very happy. He's very lively. And that's what I look for on this platform is someone who does the same thing that I do. And that is bring people joy. So keep doing what you're doing, Nate. And before we let you go, let everyone know where they can follow you and they can check you out and they support you. And I would love to have you back on in the future. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> To let everyone know where they can follow you and support your platform and yeah, because again he has some beautiful Nate and Nate have some beautiful photography. So if you're not talking if you're not sure which Nate I'm talking about King Nate Boogie in the comments. We also did an interview together so make sure you check that out and let everyone know where they can follow you Nate. Yeah just follow me on Instagram at Nathan Kenrick and yeah if you wanna be blessed just follow me. <laughs> All right, fashion dolls. Well, no show tomorrow. This diva is going into rest mode, you guys. So I will see you guys Friday with Christopher CEO Walker. He is going to be here. So make sure you guys tune in Friday for that interview. No show tomorrow. You guys be blessed and make sure you guys check out this interview from the beginning. I had a great time with you, Nate. Your energy is just everything and i look forward to talking with you again so you guys be on the lookout for the highlight of this interview this interview will be uploaded to style by stevie daytime and one more thing i want to say thank you guys unconditionally for supporting this platform style by stevie now has reached 1.4 k on the talk show page and i just wanted to say thank each and every one of you for supporting the platform coming through whether it's to see what she's wearing what i'm wearing every day or just to see who the guests are thank you guys unconditionally because of you this black woman is on top and this is my year thank you guys so much unconditionally i can't thank you enough and i'm trying not to get all emotional because melanie will kill me melanie nalamai anyway who is the makeup artist here make sure that i'm right thank you guys for supporting I love you all, Fashion Dolls. And Nate, thank you. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. You guys take care, and I will see you guys Friday. Take care, everyone. Bye.